From a Windows workstation to connect to the class server, you can use the PuTTY program, which you should have previously downloaded and installed from the internet, from the links in the lecture notes and the first week's lecture information. You can start the PuTTY program by going to the Start menu, going to All Programs. If you've used the program more recently, it may already be in your Start menu, but in this case, I'll go to All Programs. And I'll scroll down to PuTTY, open up the folder, and select the PuTTY program. There are some other programs in the folder as well, but you want to select the PuTTY program. Just double click. That will bring up the dialog where you can set, create the settings for your session. Once the PuTTY configuration screen appears, you can enter the information needed to connect to the class server or any other server using the Secure Shell protocol, which is what we support for interaction with the server. You first enter the host name, if you have a host name, or in the case of the class server, the IP address. For the class server, the IP address is 129.24.63. 138. Make sure that the SSH protocol is selected under the connection type and if you would like to save these settings for a future session you can actually give it a name so I'll call this geography 485 click the save button and you can see that it is now listed under the saved sessions area where I can just click on that and receive a shortcut to the settings uh, that I've created for that connection. If you would like more information about how PuTTY works and how to uh, use the different capabilities of it, you can click on the Help button. This is Help button down here. That will bring up the PuTTY User's Manual. One issue that you're likely to encounter since you'll be connecting to the server for the first time is this question about verifying the host key as a dialog will be presented to you that contains this message verifying that the server that you're connecting to it has a trusted host key and they will present a key fingerprint. When that dialog is presented to you the first time go ahead and click OK. Once you have entered all of the information for the connection you click on the open button and that will bring up the terminal window. Again, as I just mentioned, if you are connecting for the first time, you will have a dialog that presents the host key to you for verification before the terminal window comes up. Go ahead and choose OK, and then you will see what the screen that we're confronted with here. For the login as, this is your username as has been provided to you for the class server. So in this case, my username on the system is KBENE. -E. And then you'll be asked to type in your password. You'll type in the password that you've been provided on the class server as well. As you type, the text will not appear on the screen, but you just have to trust that it's being captured by the system. After you type your password, just hit the Enter key. You will see a message from the system, and you will then see a command prompt where you can start typing commands.